Hello to my Scorpios. Let's get it. All right, Scorpios, we are winding down this cycle, right? So let's see. Hmm. But time for rest. Time for rest. Time for rest. Hopefully you all are not stressing yourselves out. I'm talking to you wherever Scorpio is in your birth chart. Let's get it. All right. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Scorpios. Welcome back. Welcome back. The moon phase is a waning crescent moon phase. Waning crescent moon phase is all about, you know, honoring your inner introvert. It's really a time for uh, self-kindness, self-care, self-forgiveness. Not being tempted to overwork, but instead, you know, focus on recharging your batteries and giving yourself a sense of rejuvenation and peace rather than things that drain your energy. So really just spending some time just, just like, you know, recharging and resetting. Getting prepared for this next lunar cycle that's coming. We had a full flower moon uh, this cycle. And so um, just kind of like, just kind of recharging and thinking about like, how did you bloom and blossom during this cycle? Let's get it. Let's see what's in your cards. First card out of the deck is the four of pentacles. Here we have the six of pentacles. Here we also have the in um, emperor card. Here we also have the, um, the page of pentacles and then also the king of swords. So we're thinking about legacy, 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 legacy. And just like, who are you aligning yourself with? Here we have the emperor card. Um, and then also the star card here. So somebody is definitely hopeful, feeling blissful and optimistic, you know, as you're adding some structure, as you're being, like, being a little bit more authoritative when it comes to your fire and just kind of sort of, and just like your, your wisdom, you know, just about, you know, just like the material world. And I do see, you know, somebody's taking some time to invest more in themselves and your knowledge of things. Um, and just um, in just terms of just kind of like inspiring and motivating, you know, people and just on your spiritual journey. So congratulations to you for that. Definitely um, inspiring people. Um, learning how to be a little bit more flexible, let less stern, a um, little bit more organized just on your on your spiritual journey. So congratulations to you for that. <clears throat> Here we have eight of pentacles. Here we have the page of wands. Here we have the page, uh, ten of wands, the five of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, and also the queen of pentacles. Here we have the eight of pentacles here. So you have at least eight streams of income in you, you know, and um, somebody's getting focused, that number eight, right? Breaking away from karmic ties, where this is the year of eight, breaking away from those karmic ties and connecting with sacral you know, like a sacred, excuse me, ties, sacred connections. And that's the beauty of Pluto being retrograde because Pluto is going, is helping everybody to go through a very powerful transformation uh, during the retrograde. So I do see financial independence, you know, moving forward for people. And again, just kind of sort of, you know, finding out what your Chiron is and finding out like getting to those deep, deep, deep wounds. What is it that makes people feel to some degree left out of certain things, right? I feel like somebody is learning how to rebuild. Here we have, see this person right here with his sticks in their hands. Somebody feels like they're rebuilding, you know, themselves. And here we have the page of wands, right? So, um, and just feeling rejuvenated again, feeling like a teenager again, and also adjusting your crown and taking a quantum leap into your own future. Congratulations to you for that. I feel like somebody could be like, um, you know, being, a, being promoted into a leadership position, you know, in the workplace. So congratulations. And in that leadership position, I feel like you're also going to be put in, put around other entrepreneurs in that leadership position where you all are now talking about um, those, you know, talking about um, those other, you know, businesses and things like that. Here we have the Queen of Swords. So I see you sitting on your throne, carefully vetting your thoughts. Here we have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're being led to um, sacred connections. So somebody's definitely rebuilding. Here we also have the Three of Pentacles. And so there's a lot of teamwork in these connections, right? And um, here we have the Three of Swords here. And just leaving behind, moving on from past disappointments. You know, moving on from that. Here we also have the Four of Swords here. And learning how to be a little bit more strategic you know, and just your moving forward. Here we have the queen of wands here and just adjusting your crown. We also have the emperor card here coming out twice. Yeah. 
Yeah. Both in your personal and your professional life. Again, structure and authority. Here we have the Six of Cups as you're going through a rebirth of sorts here. That number six is in the shape of a person who is, you know, about to try to, that you're trying to give birth to abundance and prosperity. So you can't be holding on to anything that, uh, that, that could slow down a birthing process. Anything that, uh, anything or anyone, like any physical things that could hold on, that could uh, prevent that or could slow down that process. You want a smooth transition into that rebirth, right? So that would be any lovers, any like partnerships in business and or in love. So you want to release that, you know, you want to release that, that way of thinking, you know, that thought process. You may have that same, just going along with other people's thought process, just going along with just Anything that you feel like, okay, is, um, you know, their aggression, their just the impulsive way of their thinking, you got to release all that. So it's just that I'm trying to help, you know, put you in a group of people that's going to help pour into you. And so if you're just kind of rigid and just inflexible and just stern, it's only going to hurt you. I don't want you, I'm not going to put you in a, any more of this crab in a barrel mentality group of people, which is a metaphor for being in a group of energies that just want to hold you back. I'm putting you, like pull you down, undermine you, you know, um, others who are, um, you know, you know, putting you in a like behavior where individuals pull down or undermine others who are succeeding or progressing out of envy, jealousy, or insecurity. I'm pulling you away from those types of groups and I'm putting you in, in, in spaces where people want you to grow. They want to pour into you. They want you to succeed. They genuinely want you to succeed. I'm putting you in those groups. I'm putting you around those people. So that's what you want to get yourself mentally prepared for. So you're going to have to, source is going to break up those karmic ties, you know, no matter how long you've known people. So source is going to release you from those karmic ties. So that's a good thing. So all right, I'm going to give you the questions for the moon and Aries so that you can, um, like I said, cut ties. You can cut ties with those uh, those energies so that just will Aries is a, um, the moon is in Aries, by the way. We're not talking about any Aries that you know, but the moon is in Aries. And um, Aries uh, symbolizes uh, the beginning of change. So we got four cardinal signs. The Aries is one of the cardinal signs. So Capricorn, Aries, Libra, and Cancers are cardinal signs. So they symbolize... They, they say uh, cardinal signs symbolize the initial, I mean, the, um, the beginning of change. So they, uh, they initiate change, right? So it's like moving from winter to spring. So you're learning how to spring forward, even though I know June 1st is not the beginning of spring. So please don't put that comment under my videos, but this is where you're springing forward. Let me put it that way. You're learning how to spring forward, getting away from that cold hearted, crab in a barrel mentality group of energies that have an issue with people trying to progress and moving forward towards energies that want to help people to grow and to progress, right? So journal your journey, listen to your inner voice. Some energies are not happy without you. And so make a list of pros and cons. Um, there are signs all around you. So some energies want the best for you. Something is, in, is not as deep as you think it is, but um, trust your first mind, you know, and so, um, and just move forward. And so it's time to do a third eye chakra cleanse and your next love interest will make you happier. Toss some things into a burning bowl, which goes along with the moon being in Aries, right? So Aries is a fire sign. And so here are the questions for somebody who likes questions. First question is, are you struggling with low self-worth? And these are the questions for everybody. These, and these are just thought invoking questions for those of you all who are new to my channel. It's just another way of just helping you to just stay focused and stay land on the light side of these moon phases as you're progressing through these phases within a cycle, right? So that as you're moving forward, you can ask yourself the questions like, okay, let me ask myself this question so I can move forward. And, you know, just kind of like do it on my own checklist so I'm not worried about stuff so I can continue progressing. Second question is, are you procrastinating, perhaps stuck in a relationship or situation at home or at work that you're not happy with? The third question is, are you progressing? I mean, excuse me, are you re regressing, repressing, excuse me, are you repressing your emotions and feelings and consequently feeling resentful, 
Fourth question is, are you holding yourself back, paralyzed and unconscious fear that stops you from taking the leap into the unknown? And then last but not least is, if you had known that you were fully supported, what would you do? What would you do? Yeah, what would you do? So, yeah, that is what I have for you all. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's put a number and let's close it out. I know I saw a number card here. Yeah. And let's close it out. Let's close it out. Somebody has a partnership in business and or in love coming across your path. Here we have the 26. I am tactful. You have a desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people allow wants you to, I mean, allow your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. 26. 26 is eight. Like I said, this is a year of eight. So eight is not only a karmic number. Like I said, karmic ties are being broken and sacred ones are coming together. And Pluto is helping a lot of that happen for everybody. Helping everybody to try to land on. It'll separate karmic ties from those uh, sacred ones and just really it's about frequency so you'll land on whatever frequency you're on so um, a new romantic cycle begins for somebody so congratulations to you all for that if that's what you've been saying you wanted some kind of partnership in business and or in love is coming across somebody's path if that's what you've been praying for like i said this is a general reading take only what resonates with you um, and so if you're already with your person, it could be a new business partnership, you know, for somebody that's going to bring new money across somebody's path. Like I certainly saw somebody in a leadership position and sources aligning you with people who have that entrepreneurial spirit. So if you're getting a promotion in your company or a new company or something like that, it's a totally different environment than what you came out of. So congratulations to you either way, new friendships or new love interests, but bonfire it's time to toss some things into a bonfire it's through remembering that you will wake the ritual of your existence and be reborn in a mighty celebration congratulations to you to um getting into a peaceful existence moving towards a peaceful existence that's what i have for you i'll see you all in the next reading bye